Hi there. So in this video, I want to give you an introduction to a huge topic that is key to Charlie's teachings, and that is getting to the horse's mind. So I've got a, a variety of things I'm going to share with you in this video. Some of it is Charlie talking to a group of students. Some of it is uh, Charlie working with a horse and another is Charlie coaching me with, with my horse. To start with, we're going to hear directly from Charlie. He's talking to a group of students before a three day clinic starts and he's talking about the importance of getting to the horse's mind and how it can change everything. I find that when I can get a horse's mind, what I call turned loose, so he's not thinking about other things or being worried about something, the training of a horse is so easy, it is not funny. And people go through this, so they can't do this and they can't do that. Well, it's because a horse's mind generally is someplace else. So that's where I come from as I, as I work with this thing. And, you know, my first real mentor in this kind of deal, Ray Hunt, he said he never yet found a horse that didn't understand it. So I think this is one of those concepts that is really simple. Like, we, I think we all can agree that getting our horse's mind with us is really important. We talk a lot about connection and having our horse with us. But it's one of those things that's simple not necessarily easy and it is a huge it's a huge topic like what does it look like what do i do if my horse's mind isn't with me so when i first went to spend time with charlie um, he's near bend oregon and i'd highly recommend if you ever have a chance to go and spend some time with him to do it so i took uh one of my horses down there um, the one that i've shared about in past blog posts that I got into a wreck with. And one of the first things that was eye-opening to me was how Charlie applies this to in all, all, um, all time that you're with your horse. He's looking at, are they with you? Where's their mind? So not just when you're in the round pen. So one of the days that, or well, the first day that I was there, Suede was, my horse was separate, separated from the other horses and he was in a stall that had a little run. So he could see the other horses, but he, you know, couldn't be close to him. So he was having trouble and running in the, running in the stall and running out into the pen and, you know, calling and he was really upset. Well, in the past, I would kind of leave it be, you know, I would leave it for him to figure things out. Well, Charlie came in into the uh, stall area and he had a flag and he started to wave the flag and, and he got pretty loud with it. And at first I, I didn't understand what, what he was doing. And then I pretty quickly saw that he was trying to interrupt the thought. And when Suede got really lost and started calling, he'd wave the flag. So it wasn't a punishment. It was a, hey, let that go. You don't need to be upset. You can be here with me. You can be relaxed. You don't need to be worried. And again, it was a simple idea, but it was kind of earth shaking for me because I hadn't ever thought of doing that in that situation. And for the next few days, I spent a lot of time with Suede, helping him understand that you don't need to go there. You don't need to get upset. And it was really eye opening for me. And I realized that in the past, I was just leaving him to fend for himself. And I had this golden opportunity to convince him that, hey, I can help you find a good place. So there's a clip I'm gonna share with you um, at that same clinic uh, from what the clip that you just saw of Charlie talking, where there's a horse that has basically just arrived on the property. She'd been there for maybe 20 minutes, just gotten off the trailer. And she came into the round pen. Um, her owner was, you know, brand new to Charlie, hadn't met him before. And this mare was really bothered and calling to the other horses. And Charlie took the halter off and let her go. And you're going to get to see a little bit of what he did with the flag. And I think it's really interesting to watch his timing when the mare's really upset and looking out is when he'll shake the flag. And then it's just really interesting to watch what happens to her and the change that happens to her. So... Enjoy. Oh, 
on it and think about maybe this isn't a bad place to be over here. We're going to think about that because there should be no there should be no difference in your horse at home than if you go someplace else. Do you get all over the edge if you go to a strange place? Well, kind of, sort of, sometimes maybe it's a place. But, <laughs> but you get what I'm saying? So we like our horses to be the same way. And, and people will use that excuse all the time when it's a strange place. Well, yeah, it's a strange place, but they're not connected to us. We've offered no support and help. You see. So that's the other thing I'd be looking for. That's a change there. Mm -hmm. you see. I would be looking at my halter rope or my bridle reins or a, a source of support and comfort and help, not just to make them do something. Okay. Okay. Morgans, Arabs, Thoroughbreds. <laughs> Born to run. Got life. We could do something with it. There's a big change. That was huge. In the next clip, you're going to get to see uh, Charlie coaching me with Suede. And before this clip, uh, Suede was pretty relaxed. This was the first day of this clinic, but he was pretty relaxed. He was pretty connected with me. And then you'll see a horse trailer pulls in and, um, and he, he leaves me mentally. So you'll get to see that one of the things that Charlie talks about is if your horse leaves you, don't let it stay that way. So oftentimes I would just keep going. I would, you know, I'm, he's, he's doing what I'm wanting him to do with his feet, but his mind isn't with me. So he is, Charlie's asking me to stop him, get his mind back with me and then proceed. And you'll see, it's hard for me. I forget to do things. Um, I'm still focused on it being about the feet. Like at one point, I ask Suede to go forward and he is he leaves me mentally and Charlie points it out. And I, I you'll hear me say, oh, it's about his feet. He's going faster than me. And Charlie's like, no, it's about him leaving you mentally. So you'll get a chance to see in this video um, how Charlie coaches people to get their horse's mind with them, back with them, stop everything if they leave, get their horse, your horse's mind back with you, and then proceed. So I hope you enjoy this. There. There, yeah, see, do something, do something. Yeah. I'd get him to stop and look in. Okay. Right there, get him to, there. Oh, see, the, boy, he's struggling already, isn't he? See, yeah. Now you're gonna just lead him out like this. There, he didn't go with you. <laughs> Stop him. Okay. Because <laughs> he went faster than me. Well, but he looked out too. See, okay. He didn't. He never looked in to start with. Okay. Yeah. So, whatever you have to do to get him to look there, there. Now offer your hand to go there. 
that's not too bad there don't settle for anything less right there yeah whatever yeah whatever yeah yeah whatever you got to do see almost oh not yet but almost he'll quit that backing up and he'll look in there there now offer him to go good boy there Yeah, there, see, yeah. You just patiently be right there and say, no, be here. Get him to look, you see. There you go, off you go. Uh, almost, yeah, all right, that's going to make it. See, the reason he's backing up is because he's holding on to that thought, you see. he don't, okay. You're asking, you're asking, hey, be here. Be here. And he says, well, I'll back up. I'll throw my head up. I'll do whatever. <laughs> See, and that ain't flies bothering him. No. Guarantee you. Yeah. See, there, off you go. There, there. That's the way that ought to look. Okay. That should stay that way. There's so much more to share about this topic, like endless amounts, but I wanted to give you a snippet of it. And hopefully you might see some things that cause you to think differently um, and possibly do things a little bit differently with your horse the next time you see them. This is one of the pieces of Charlie's teaching that has probably challenged me the most and continues to and has me riveted and wanting to know more because what I see, the change I see in my own horse and the changes I have seen in other horses that Charlie's working with, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. So it's, again, it's a simple concept, getting your horse's mind with you, but it's not necessarily easy and it's, uh, it's a grand adventure. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I have more to share with you of the things that Charlie's teaching. And I'm also, he, he and I are working on a virtual clinic project. Uh, so if you're interested in what you're seeing and you wanna know more, we're gonna do a whole event um, for you to participate in. So I hope you have a wonderful week and get out there and observe your horses and be paying attention to where their minds are. And thank you for being a part of this.